In 2013, Kamala Harris, then the Attorney General of California, and Doug Emhoff, a Los Angeles entertainment lawyer, were set up on a blind date by a mutual friend. Despite being advised not to, Harris googled Emhoff before their date. Within a year, Emhoff proposed during an unromantic conversation, as he shared with Marie Claire. They married on August 22, 2014, in a ceremony officiated by Harris's sister, Maya, at a courthouse in Santa Barbara, California. Emhoff has two children, Cole and Ella, from a previous marriage, and Harris became their stepmother upon marrying Emhoff. He had already been supporting Harris in her political career before joining her on the 2020 presidential campaign trail. In 2016, he actively supported her Senate campaign, including voting together, and Harris ultimately won the election. When Joe Biden announced Harris as his running mate, they made history, with Harris becoming the first female vice president and Emhoff the first second gentleman. Harris also dated talk show host Montel Williams. According to Inside Edition, the pair was photographed on the red carpet with Williams' daughter in 2001 at the 8th annual race to erase MS in Los Angeles. Williams later tweeted, Kamala Harris and I briefly dated about 20 years ago when we were both single. So what? I have great respect for Senator Harris. According to the New York Post, Harris dated Willie Brown until 1996, who then became San Francisco mayor. Brown wrote an op-ed titled, Willie Brown, Sure, I Dated Kamala Harris. So what, where he mentioned supporting her career along with many other politicians. He noted that Harris was the only one who implied he would be indicted for any minor infractions while she was district attorney. Brown publicly ended their relationship in 1995, describing it as a long affair and revealing that he had a long estranged wife, Blanche. USA Today reported that Brown was still married to Blanche during his relationship with Harris, though their estrangement made Harris and Brown's relationship known but not scandalous. Brown was known to have multiple girlfriends. In 2003, an article in San Francisco Weekly delved into their relationship while Harris was running for district attorney. It referred to Brown as Harris's spurned ex-lover and unsolicited political backer, and noted Harris's frustration at having to discuss the relationship, stating, I refuse to design my campaign around criticizing Willie Brown for the sake of appearing to be independent when I have no doubt that I am independent of him, and that he would probably right now express some fright about the fact that he cannot control me.